So this is the UK Independence Party political app. Um, the UKIP, UKIP is a political party in the UK. Um, the homepage has a large number of categories which I think can be fairly overwhelming from the outset. Uh, as you can see the bottom title has four main sections. So the main section which we're currently on engage which unfortunately I you have to register to get that capability. Um, social which is just tweets and Facebook and things like that from various UKIP supporters and settings. So you can link your Facebook and Twitter account. Um, so we go back onto the main page and we have eight categories here. So the history of the UK Independence Party, which is fairly basic. Um, if you want to support, this is another section you can go on. So you can text UKIP and your postal code to a number and send whatever amount of money you would like to the party. Um, obviously we will not be doing that events um, so this is all of the events that will be occurring at some point this hasn't been updated particularly so the last event here is the January 3rd 2011 so it needs updating really that's a criticism of it the videos um, so this links in to the YouTube channel for UKIP um, and we have all sorts of interviews with Nigel Farage the head of UKIP uh, the photos section again this links into the Flickr account um, which it's not particularly interesting for me um, the news part shows you all the latest news stories that UKIP have been involved in so we have the UKIP immigration policy the election broadcast things like that um, that's the most up-to-date section of this app and it is actually very good uh, contact so the you can contact UKIP tells you where they're based um, the telephone fax number things like that emails uh, this policy section is the most important section I believe for the UK so it's fairly fairly long we have um, different sections you can click into so I'm going to click into the pensions so you see their policy on pensions um, Again, this go this scrolls all the way through, and there aren't they aren't really subsections. They're just links down to the part of the document you want to see. Um, overall, this app is pretty poor. Um, the set out and layout isn't particularly welcoming when you first log on. Um, it looks particularly unprofessional in my view, um, and I would give the app a three out of five the policy section could be done a lot better they need to update the events more often since the last event was from January 3rd 2011 and they need to look at this app seriously to develop it and make it a lot better